Hello and welcome to Cotton Cuts Village Green Puzzle Mystery Quilt Clue 6. So I finally got Clue 6 in. Um, it was probably a couple of weeks ago that I got it in. Um, I got 6 and 7 together, but um, I've had some IRL stuff happening and I could not get these videos recorded um for you any sooner so i'm very sorry please bear with me as i get these out to you but here is clue six this um i got two um june and july's block of the month in clue six so that's really cool um if you've watched uh my carnival clue one you know that i took my uh, my normal sewing machine to uh, get serviced and um, that my Viking is being a diva. So I busted out my Singer 404. I'm using my vintage Singer for the piecing of Clue 6 and Clue 7 um, because she just she just does the job. Um, I can't uh, I can't get much better than my vintage Singer. So. Um, but we, let's go through what we got in our, um, in our clue six. So we have, um, eight fabric A, smaller triangles, eight fabric B, smaller triangles, eight fabric C of the smaller triangles. So then we also have, four medium A triangles, four medium B triangles, and four medium F triangles. And then we have four medium C rectangles, four medium D rectangles, and four medium F rectangles. So um, let's Get it. We're going to make four blocks for the large size. It looks like it's going to be flying geese and then sewing the rectangles together. So um, there's six steps in total. What I'm going to do um, is I think I will show you the pairs of flying geese and I'm going to sew them all together and I will just press all steps one through three. I will press all my flying geese at once and then I will sew step four. Um, so let me go through what um, step one is going to look like. So step one, you're going to take your eight fabric A triangles. I'm just going to split them apart. Your eight Fabric A triangles with your medium F. Okay, so that is step one. And then you're gonna, we're going to press all of our flying geese out towards the smaller triangles. So this is step one. Step two, you're going to take your eight fabric B triangles and pair that with your medium size fabric A triangle. Sew them, press them out. That's step two. And then step three, your last set of flying geese is going to be Your eight fabric C small triangles paired with your medium fabric B triangle. Sew down, press out. So I will meet you back here when all of my flying geese are put together um, and I'm ironing the last one from each set. Okay, so I have done all of my flying geese. So this is the step one block, right? So this is F and A. 
our step two block is a and B. And then our step three block is B and C. Step one, step two, step three. So step four, we are joining them in reverse order, okay? So you are joining – it's going to look like this. This is your step two block is the only one that's going to stay where it is. It's going to be in the middle. So you're going to take the block that you sewed in, you sewed for step three, B and C, and you're going to put that at the top. And you're going to take the block that you step, you sewed for step one, A and F, and put that at the bottom. So you're going to sew like this. So they make an arrow. Right. So you're going to sew here and sew here for step four. And then we're going to press up the same direction that the points are going. We're going to press up and I will meet you back here when I'm done. All right. So let's finish up step four. I'm just going to set my seams. And we're pressing towards the points. We're pressing basically up on the block. And I'm just going to make sure that all of my seams are laying nice and flat. All right. So there is step four. It looks pretty good. So that's it. Step five. C. D and F. All right, so you're going to take your rectangles and you're going to sew them on the long sides. C, D, and F. Sew this way and then you're pressing down. And I'll be right back. All right. This is the last block from step four, five. Sorry, step five. And we're pressing down towards the bottom of the block. So down like that. All right. So the very last step, step six, we're going to take our flying geese and our rectangles. We're going to sew our rectangles to the right of our flying geese. And we're going to press towards the rectangles. And I'll meet you back here when I'm done. All right. Last block of the whole clue. So this took me probably about 45 minutes. It would have taken me less if I'd have had my Juki. Um, it's been years since I've used my Singer. So we're having some, you know, stitch issues. So I had to go through and restitch some areas. But that's okay. My quarter of an inch is consistent. So this is what glue six looks like for the large lavender colorway. Turned out pretty good. All my seams match up. All my points match up, um, which means I've got my quarter inch figured out. I could take it over and measure it, but I'm not going to. Um, I'm going to put it away. Um, but thank you for hanging out with me. Hopefully this is a shorter tutorial for you um, just so that you can see how I put it together. Um, and I will see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.